Hey everybody, today we are going to be going through the game King of Tokyo, and we're going to be going through some strategies <clears throat> that are involved in the game, as well as looking at a pretty interesting thing that happened in one of uh, the games I played recently. So with that, we are going to move to the table. All right, so right here we have um, everybody starts with 10 health and zero points. Game ends when all the monsters but one uh, have health remaining, so you kill all the other monsters, and then that remaining monster is the winner, or one monster reaches 20 points, and uh, that's a really good thing to happen, actually. Uh, and I don't see that happen as often. I think it's more often that uh, you try for those 20 points, and then when you get around 10 points, uh, you get killed off. Uh, so it's very important to always keep an eye on your health, um, and don't think that points are everything. Because you could just be the last monster standing. That actually happens quite frequently. There's also energy that can happen as well. Uh, you, you gain energy. And that's, uh, you can see right here, right there, health, uh, points, and then energy as you're following my cursor there. There's also cultists with the expansion that, uh, that we're going to be playing with right here. But um, you won't have to worry about that too much. That's just going to happen later on. I'll explain cultists. but. Basics is health, energy, and your points. So now we're going to go down and look at the cards. The cost of the cards are three, four, or three energy. And each of them have a special ability, but if you're just starting the game, don't even pay attention to these cards. You really want to uh, just store up that energy until uh, you really understand yeah, how to play the game. Really, what you want to focus on is not rolling these energies, but rolling the hearts or the points and this game does have some strategy to it because you get to re-roll your dice two times actually throughout the course of the game so if you get a really bad roll in your first roll no problem you can re-roll it as it will be described right here so we'll just step through and see what the different players do so aubergine is going to go first he's a uh a crazy monkey with a robot eye there's also another monkey here as well but Crazy Monkey is going to roll, and he rolls a 2, a 2, and a Lightning, and a Lightning. So the Lightning is Energy that we talked about earlier, and the 2 is uh, going to be 2 points if he can get 3 of them in a row. So he's hoping to re-roll these other 2 dice. So he's keeping these 4, that's why they're in the lock symbol, and the other 2 dice he's going to try to re-roll. So he re-rolls it, and he keeps another Energy. Now he has got to resolve the dice. He actually tried two re-rolls. We missed it, but he did, and he gained the three energy. He was really trying to get those two points. However, you do see that he does enter Tokyo because his final roll um, actually got him into Tokyo. So he's going... Yeah, I think he actually starts in Tokyo, just kind of the, one of the ways that this game is played. And if you start, if you go into Tokyo, you get a point. The entering Tokyo City, you gain one point. But normally, you have to punch your way into Tokyo. There's usually a monster standing there in the middle. Punching your way into Tokyo gives you one point. Staying in Tokyo at the start of your turn gives you two points. But, and uh, while you're in Tokyo, you cannot roll any hearts to heal your health. The max health is 10 points, but you or 10 health, but you do not want to go as low as zero because you die if that happens. All right, then uh, we will step forward and see what happens next. Um, all right, so for me... I'm going to re-roll and resolve these dice. So let's see how I did. I'm little Lollibot here. She's a, a robot, giant robot uh, who shoots out candy and jelly beans, I think. That's kind of cool. But anyways, my very first roll, I get three threes. So that's great. I'm keeping that. That's going to be three points. I'm going to re-roll everything else. Ooh, another three. One thing about this game, if you get four of any number, you get one more point than that. So if you had three ones and you roll another one, that's four ones. That's going to be two points. This is great. I rolled three ones, another or three threes, another three. That is going to be four points. Bam. Really great starting move. I get uh, th that was very lucky. I got uh, four points and I'm going to get two punches. That's going to punch the monster in Tokyo. Okay, so Aubergine, I'm going to punch in. So if you also, uh, in the cultist expansion we're playing with, you get a cultist, which allows you to re-roll 
uh, get a, a energy or heal if you have four dice of the same kind. And you look at the replay, I did have four dice of the same kind, four threes, two punches. What did those two punches do? Well, let's see. All right, so it hurt Aubergine a little bit. The reason why it didn't hurt him completely was because he bought one of those cards there. You see, Regeneration is out there now, but he bought another one of these cards that don't really make too much of a difference in the game, but that actually helped him. He was able to uh, use Camouflage to not lose both health. He was able to uh, only lose one health from that. So he'll have Camouflage the rest of the game that will help him a lot. So th that's kind of the basics of the game. I'm sure you can look up a better rules video somewhere else, but because I punched in, I actually enter Tokyo, and he steps out of Tokyo if he chooses to step out, and he does choose to step out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to step through um, to move 30 of the game. You can see and what happens along the way. So, looking through and we see lots of punches are going on. Let's look at the life. So I got punched a bunch, down to five health left. We have um, Newborger, who is this uh, kind of green octopus monster. I think it's like called Cthulhu, uh, steps in. Then uh, it's going really quick. We got this Egyptian god monster come out into, king of into the uh, king. He's the king of Tokyo for a second. Then we got Intermediate Bass, he's a he's an ape, comes in. Ape without a cyborg eye. Now if that monster gets punched and doesn't want to yield Tokyo, uh, he can actually just stay in Tokyo. So he, he decided to stay in it, and then now we have two different monsters uh, in Tokyo. Um, and they're, they're able to get in, no problem. So Aubergine does decide to flee Tokyo. Intermediate Bass does decide to flee Tokyo. And whoa, I'm back in, okay? So then Newborger rolls the dice and any punches he gets go to me. And I have seven health, so I'm feeling pretty confident. We'll see how he rolls. He gets two punches. Okay. Heals himself, three. Heals two punches to myself. Knocks me down to five. So I decide to either stay in Tokyo or leave Tokyo. I'm a chicken. I decide to leave. Okay. And that's fine because I just don't want to lose health. And also, I rolled pretty well in the beginning, so I am going to go for that point strategy, uh, as I have six points right now, and everybody else has, you know, at most five points. Aubergine's catching up to me, but uh, everybody else is kind of low, back in the low amounts of points. Okay, so now we'll step through this. Jock 90 It's going to roll some dice. He actually gets three points, so Jock starts catching up. Okay, and then Intermediate Base actually rolls uh, three threes as well. And so I guess I thought what I did was very, uh, you know, a great move. Got lucky, of course, getting four threes, but everybody else is getting three threes, no problem. So if you can do that, then, then do that. And that's what they're doing. They're catching up to me in points. And so I've got six, two, five, six, five. And anytime somebody rolls a punch, the monster in Tokyo takes those punches uh, unless the monster in Tokyo is doing the punches, then they take the, send those punches to everybody else in the game. That's important. So if you can hang in there once you take Tokyo, wait till your turn comes back, you can actually punch a lot of people. And right now, we're going to see Aubergine is gaining some, you see kind of the replay right here gaining some health, and is not really hurting for health. Self, I only have five health, so my purpose for this turn is going to be to heal. So you look, I rolled two threes, and then some hearts. I think I want to keep the hearts, but maybe try for another three? Ah, didn't work. So those threes were wastes. If you don't get three of the kind of the same number, you don't get the points for it. And I just healed for my turn and then got two of these energy cubes, which those aren't really worth much, especially because the lowest costing thing is going to be three energy cubes. So if you're curious the different powers of the cards in the game, uh, look down below my picture right here and you can see the different powers. There. There's a shrink ray, you see, uh, and 
Uh, one day I'll do a video showing what are the best cards, but right now we're just going to focus on the basics of King and Tokyo for this video. So Newborger can re-roll some dice. So that's what Newborger's going to do. He's trying to get three threes, but ends up being satisfied with a bunch of punches and a bunch of energy and takes those threes out of the lock. You don't have to keep them in the lock uh, and re-rolls everything outside the lock. Rerolling those threes and getting some nice things. Three punches. And who's he going to punch? Those people in Tokyo. Let's see if they yield Tokyo. Three punches is a lot of punches. Bam, bam. They both got punched pretty badly. But they both decide to stay in Tokyo. Uh-oh, so that's weird. So they're at five health and five health. And then... We see... And also Newborger grabbed a uh, special ability, Burrowing, which is going to allow him to roll, um, like add an extra punch while he's in Tokyo. Uh, and when he's yielding Tokyo, it's not gonna, the monster taking it loses one health. So he kind of burrows in, doesn't want to leave Tokyo. So those are the different powers. And like I said, I'll go over them in another future video. But right now, Jock rolled six punches. Oh my goodness. So Jock stayed in Tokyo, you remember, and he rolled six punches. So what is that going to do? That's going to deal six damage to everybody outside of Tokyo. Intermediate base is thinking, whew, that's a good thing I, I uh, stayed in Tokyo because I'm not going to take those that damage. All right, so he's at six points and five health. Watch the health of every other player now. Ouch. That hurt. So you can kind of see the different dynamic in the game. If you're playing a six player, two people can actually be in Tokyo. Not normally is that the case. So you, it allows another player to kind of pay back off the other guy in Tokyo. And not only did, uh, who was it, uh, Jock 90s dealt six damage. You're going to see in a little bit what uh, Intermediate Base decides to do, knowing that everybody else is very low in health. So let's get back to the table here. So now we have intermediate base. Oh, some of the monsters are going to try to mitigate some damage. I guess there's some special abilities that are going to go on. And we'll watch the mitigation here. Um, Jock's going to try to buy a card. But now intermediate base is here. And he's going to roll one punch. He, he tries to roll more punches, but just doesn't get it. There's six sides to the dice. So um, it's just normal that uh, you can't get sometimes. You saw the crosses on the hearts. I hope you remember that you can't heal while you're in Tokyo. So enemy base is going to stay at five health while he's in Tokyo, but he's not going to take any damage from the big king monster in Tokyo. However, he's going to be taking a lot of damage from everybody else because they are angry at the two kings of Tokyo right now. And we are going to see how that plays out. Okay, and now move on to Aubergine. So Aubergine's at two health. Very precarious. Aubergine's going to try to heal a lot. Rolling a lot of healing. A lot of healing. Three health to Aubergine. Okay, he's got that camouflage, so that's, that's helping him a little bit. Um, but yeah, so he decides to... Uh, uh, Jock actually decides to leave Tokyo finally after taking two punches. Where is he at in health? Three health. Okay, and Intermediate Base went from 5 to 3 as well, so it looks like two punches were rolled from Aubergine. And Aubergine moves right in because it's vacant and he made somebody leave. And now he's going to be the brunt of all the attacks, uh, including my own because it's my turn. But I have one health, so do you think I'm going to focus on hurting my buddy over there? Uh, not really my buddy, but another fellow monster who just got hammered. Or am I going to try to heal? So... I actually have a lot of punches, but I don't keep them. I'm trying for points and healing. And I actually use one of these cultists to re-roll the dice even more to get even more health. It's not looking good. Even with the extra bonus re-roll, I was only able to heal two health. So that is not good at all. I ended up grabbing Smoke Cloud as a special ability, and I'd recommend that one. I think it's a pretty good one. Of, of the three that were there, I think that one was the best. It's going to allow three more rerolls. You saw how that, that cultist allowed me to do a reroll? Well, it could have allowed me to do a reroll, a heart, or another energy, but I chose the reroll, and it worked out. Uh, the Smoke Cloud allows me to do an extra reroll, similar to uh, the one of the three abilities of that cultist. Now, Newborger 
you'll see him and I end up teaming up later on in the game. Uh, he is trying to heal. He's only got one health right now. It is not looking pretty here because he just rolled a punch. And that means he's going in Tokyo. So that is very scary. Um, well, he won't go in Tokyo if the monster uh, doesn't leave Tokyo. But I think I am going to choose to leave Tokyo. So he's going to jump in. Yep. So he jumps in, and this is where he's in trouble, because he's only got two health, so who's going to punch him right here? Well, Jock only has three health, so his focus was on healing. So he's not going to try to punch myself or Newberg. Even though I have a lot of points, Jock has a lot of points too, and is hoping to win in points rather than punching out every other monster. It was fun when he was able to do six punches, but now he's kind of shifted his focus to, to points. Either that, or he just didn't roll enough punches to do two damage to us, uh, or to to Newborger. He rolled one punch, Newborger is down a little bit, definitely leaves. You leave a monster with one health in Tokyo, you're going to go right into Tokyo. And that's what happens. So, Jock90 is in Tokyo. And then we'll just skip through this intermediate base, actually coming into Tokyo. Yeah, so they both end up deciding to leave when Aubergine comes in. He knocks them down a little bit. And Jock's at three, Intermediate Base at five, and Aubergine is at six. And Aubergine decides to... Or now, now it's my turn, right? So I have two health. I need health. I re-roll, I re-roll. Then I have four health. That's great for me. I accept it. Still didn't... I tried for the threes, you saw. I didn't get three threes, so still staying at... Uh, seven points. Actually, eight points, because guess what? I uh, moved into Tokyo. Tokyo Bay was uh, was empty, so that sucked me in. Because that's what happens when in the game. Um, even if I didn't get any punches. So now we see New Border heals a ton, so he's sitting pretty with health. Uh, moved from one to six, completely fixed that whole issue, and now we move on where I am going to decide to either leave or stay into Tokyo. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to leave, but I do have five health, so that is something to consider. Um, like maybe in the future, maybe I'll stay. But for now, it looks like uh, I'm one of the lower health. Actually, everybody's been pretty beat up throughout this game. Like if we all started at 10 health and now you see where we're sitting. We're just really hurting for health here. And... We're going to see some really exciting stuff come up, I promise you, just in a little bit. So, lots of damage dealt by Newborger to everyone. He just dealt four damage to everyone in the game. So, Jock has one health, Intermediate Base has seven, Aubergine has five, and yeah, lots of damage dealt out. And now it's Aubergine up that, uh, a uh, monkey with a weird eyeball. He rolls a ton of points, and he's getting up there. He's at 11 points. So, but now he is actually filling in the gap as the king of Tokyo. Those two monkeys are at it again in Tokyo. So you see him right there. Now I, you see, I roll a bunch of punches, like five whole punches, and I try to use this extra die roll to get a six punch, and that would take out Intermediate Base and Aubergine because they are both in Tokyo right now. Do I use the extra reroll? Yep, I try to do it. Yep. Um, do I use another extra reroll? Yep, I try to do it. Do I use another extra reroll? I really want to knock out two of my opponents right there. I don't get it again. But I do have this cultist that I can try to do to reroll again. Do I try to do that, or do I keep the precious cultist to maybe heal later? Nah, I just want to destroy them. But at least I rolled a heart. But I've used up all my smoke things, and I used up my cultists. So now I really am just uh, kind of sad how that ended up. But at least I healed and uh, was able to send out... Five damage right now. So you see the health of the two folks that are in King of Tokyo, those two monkeys, get drastically reduced. Newborger, the giant squid, is going to. Well, I first move into Tokyo because there's a vacancy. 
and I'm prepared to take a lot of hits from people, but you see that Newborger is not trying to hit me at all. Newborger is just going to be rolling hearts the whole time. Doesn't even hurt me at all. Um, and there is a vacancy, and so he jumps right into Tokyo. We're buddies. We didn't hurt each other. And now Doc is going to have to fight if he wants to come into Tokyo. But Jock decides to go for a bunch of points, actually getting three points, so that's really great. Jock is at 17 points, three more points, and Jock wins the game. But Intermediate Base also doesn't get any punches and just tries to heal up. Now, Aubergine's turn. Aubergine has one health. And Aubergine is going to try to heal up. It doesn't get any punches either, and so doesn't try to take Tokyo. Actually, it gets 15 points, so we're at 17, 14, 15 for the competitors who are outside of Tokyo, and only 9 and 5. So I had a great start with points, but as you can see, the tables can quickly shift in the game. If you're very low on health, you stop worrying about points in the game. And so you ended up end up getting into a situation where you saw right here myself and Aubert, our new worker actually ended up trying to heal up. And as a result, you look right here, we're down to only nine and five points. And we're gonna step through here and see how we end up fixing that issue. So there's three monsters outside of Tokyo who have a lot of points. We have a mission to do, and I'm gonna try to do it. I don't lock any of these dice. Why? I'm trying to get all punches. But I don't get any. I roll. I have one more reroll. I try for it, but I get a lot of twos, so I'm kind of happy with all those twos. And I just accept it. I say, okay, I'll take a bunch of twos. That is four points, because it's five. So with five, that's actually two points for the, for the three, and then one more point, and then one more point for five. Then we go to... Newborger's turn, so Newborger actually has to uh, do my dirty work. He rolls, doesn't get any punches, doesn't get any punch, or gets one punch, and then gets one more punch. And that is actually enough points to. Oh, and then he uses a, a, a uh, uses a cultist for an extra reroll, gets four punches. And that is what we were talking about. So that's what we needed. And now a lot of things are about to happen. So the damage is going to be dealt to Jock, Intermediate Base, and Aubergine. They're going to take serious losses right there. And dealing a bunch of damage to everyone. So, um,. Aubergine actually reduced, or he's going to try to reduce some damage with his special ability. But still ends up dying. Intermediate base actually makes it out of here alive and heals a bunch. Okay, at four. So intermediate base's turn. Intermediate base had some special ability where he was able to, when he, a monster dies, he actually heals health, I believe. So uh, you gain health, when you gain health, gain one extra health. So that actually helped him out. That was his power. So we punched him a bunch, but he regenerated a bunch. So now Intermediate Base's turn. He's trying to get the points that he needs, but ends up only getting three points, just shy of that 20. And now it's going to come back to our turn. I'm at 15 points. Do I want to destroy Intermediate Base? I decide to stay in Tokyo. I could try to destroy both of my opponents or just try to get five points here. So here's what I end up doing. It's because I stay in Tokyo, I actually only need three more points because I get two points for staying in Tokyo. And then, as you see right here, I've got a punch, a two, a energy, an energy, a punch, and a heart, which I can't use. I get three twos. Twos are not bad. Ones are terrible, but twos are not bad, especially if you roll four of them, because that was exactly what I needed. I meant I got very lucky. 
uh, to get to that those 20 points, and I actually ended the game based on points rather than killing all the other monsters. So in the end, Newborger actually helped out a lot with that move of getting uh, six damage, uh, six punches on everyone else. It almost took out three monsters in one turn, took out two, and then uh, it was a, it was a close call. He got the remaining monster got to 17 points, but then quickly because I stayed in Tokyo, I had a point boost up and just barely made it to 20 points. So. Hopefully you liked that. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that uh, clip there of um, that game that we played for uh, King of Tokyo. Um, hopefully you learned a lot from that, and ultimately, hopefully you enjoyed that win. I'm sure I, I've got to tell you, I really enjoyed that win, and it was exciting to watch how uh, because I didn't get what I needed to do. I think the most exciting part of that game was. It's my turn, and then it's Newborger's turn, and we need to take out the other three. And I don't roll any punches. And so it's Newborger's turn, and then he de he decides to just go all out, and he is forced to do uh, really uh, <laughs> my dirty work for me because I spent my turn getting a bunch of twos for points, and then he spends his turn just annihilating the rest of the, the players in the game. And then it comes back around to my turn, and I just kind of pat him on the back and win the game and, and get the rest, the other half of the points that I needed. So that often will happen in the game uh, when uh, you're playing six players and there's two people in Tokyo. I kind of liked that. It was very enjoyable. Um, unfortunately, because he was, uh, if you look down at the back of the table, since he was in Tokyo Bay, he got kicked out of it, uh, of Tokyo Bay. If he was in the main area, he would have stayed in and gotten two extra points. But uh, being in the main Tokyo... You don't get kicked out when there's less than five to six monsters in the game. So all in all, pretty great game. And this is the first time I'm really posting a big thing about uh, uh, King of Tokyo on the channel. I really love this game. Hopefully you guys can enjoy it too. Let me know in the comments below what you think about King of Tokyo. If this was new for you and you thought, hey, that's kind of cool. I want to try it. Or if you're like, hey, um, I'm really not sure that... Uh, I understood that. Can you explain anything? Don't worry, I got you covered. I can uh, explain it in the comments. Just give me a question. Um, let me know, ultimately, what do you want to see from this channel? Are you wanting to see more content of Seven Wonders Duel? Are you wanting to see King of Tokyo stuff? Um, I'm probably not going to be able to be posting every single day now, um, but uh, just due to life circumstances. But uh, I'll still be posting every weekly at least. And I hope to some more content similar to this not just the seven wonders duel and the abyss stuff but uh, also different tier lists i want to do continue doing tier lists of different cards in games uh, i want to do strategies and i want to do replays because people can send me replays or i can go fetch some replays of some top 10 players of certain games and really look into their strategies but all right with that uh said thank you so much for watching sticking around uh hope you are enjoying your day and take care